everyone! Welcome to the channel and my first look at Camping Builder, which is a new demo that's going to be coming to Steam on February 21st, so two days from now when I'm recording this. I want to start by thanking my friend Just Trev for hooking me up with this early access to the demo that he received from the developers. Uh, the game is from Two Horizons, so as you can see, the same developers that brought us Airport Renovator and Hotel Renovator. So I'm going to jump in here and do a new game. I saw a few minutes. Oh, let's watch this. My name is Kailan. In your language, it means sea and sky. I am the guardian of Malu Island. Malu means shelter. And indeed, it has been home to my people and many animals for centuries. A lot of work awaits you here, my friend. As I was saying, I saw a few minutes of this gameplay uh, when Trev played it. I'm going to go ahead and link his channel in the description. It's going to run me through... This little tutorial. I'm hoping this is the way to the fire's place. No, I didn't actually look and see where I was going. Oh, <laughs> this way. So I was going the complete wrong direction. That seems right. Here it is. Hello, stranger. I've been expecting you. The island is in trouble, and you've arrived just in time to save it. As you can see, the camping is completely ruined. The previous owner was a greedy, ruthless man. He exploited the island and showed no respect to the inhabitants, so nature got back at him finally. Now it's your turn to care for and protect the island. If you succeed, people and nature will live in harmony again. And Malu will surely reward you. So what's going to happen to me if I fail? It wasn't too clear on that. What happened to the guy? Okay. This is a place where the island meets the ocean. This way they create harmony between earth and water. By removing this trash, you'll help them reunite and bring peace to this island. My friend, you have a good eye, and the island is clearly in your favor. These kinds of seashells bring good fortune and happiness. There may be more of them here. Okay, so look for the shells. Got it. How much of this can I put on the little stick? Okay, that's how much. Okay, good. So it'll tell me. Oh, turtle! Hi, turtle! That doesn't look like an ocean turtle. Definitely not an ocean turtle. More shells. Can't pick that up. So this is definitely following that kind of predictable simulator storyline of these kind of games where first you get to clean up the mess that was left behind, then you'll start getting into building new stuff. Pick up that shell? No? I love these kind of games. They're very chill, relaxing, nothing's trying to eat me. Oops, full again. I don't know what I get for these shells. Oh, five seashells. Five seashells? Well done. I think I already mentioned these are no ordinary seashells. Keep searching. Good luck. Can see that. All right, let's see. How much more do we have? Oh, the chairs and stuff too? Okay. I think I messed this up by closing this bag too soon because now I'm just on that last little piece. Where does the trash go? 
Okay. Oh, okay. Can I only carry one of these? No? Can you carry a few? Too much? Okay. Oh. I see that the island chose a decent host. Surely you're not here by chance. They did leave a mess. This is very messy. Nope. Okay. I guess this is a collapsed build. Like, it looks very funny. It looks like it's just very tiny, not collapsed. I jump? Okay, good. Definitely has an interesting background soundtrack, I will say that. I don't have to clean up the rest of the trash? There is no way to save these bungalows, but the wood they are made of is still a good building material worth keeping. But it's still all trashy. All right. That lady just appeared out of the wind. Decision, my friend. Nature is in your favor. Okay, so I don't have to wind up the whole time. That's a time saver. I really don't have to wind up at all. Pretty much just one click. I was clicking and holding to wind up that little circle, but not necessary. It's definitely working with just a single click. Okay, so that was easy enough. There were a few of them. A new chapter in the history of the island, my dear friend. Malo is now your home too, and you are officially the host. You can build as many bungalows as you want with the wood provided by the forest. But remember, this forest is a shelter to all island inhabitants. Take these seedlings. They will help you maintain the balance. Okay, so replant the trees. All this trash is still here. I can't believe it didn't make me uh, get rid of that. Okay, buildings. Bungalow. All right, so there's the path. So I would want, well, no, because that's the fire pit. Well, let's put one over here on this side of the fire pit. And then one over here. Uh, 
How do I rotate it? Can I rotate it? Seem like I can. I'm gonna put you here. There we go. Okay. So, I think that I can reuse some of this stuff. Look, this is how Malu cares for us. The fire made from this wood will keep you warm at night and lighten the way to the island for others like you. Was this firewood? I thought I could use it to build it. I can use it to build with. So you just right click and it pops these in place. Oops. I guess right click is kind of like throwing it, so you're dropping it in where it needs to be. How much am I holding? Can't see that anywhere. So like how do I oh can I move this? How much of this can I hold? Quite a bit. No? Let me get this stuff in the trash. Oh. Okay, that must be the limit of what I can carry. Okay. There's definitely a lot of cleanup that can be done, but I like that it doesn't force you to do that before you can um, move on. Come on, go in the trash. This I don't think was trash. I think this was like firewood of some sort she was saying, so we're going to stick that there. Now, I need to cut down some trees. Oh, let me grab these first. this. Oh, more trash cans. Those might have been closer than those ones. So that's good. You have options. Trash. I like the simplicity of this. Like I'm throwing one piece of wood at it. The house is just slotting together. So it's not a difficult building process. Oh, I see now too, and it shows me how much I'm holding in my the right of the screen. Oh, railings. So is that it? Nope. Didn't mean to do that. And the door. Okay, so now I need more wood. Can I get rid of the stump? No? I wonder why there is a wind-up. Like, why you can push and hold. When a, like one tap. Oh, I guess I needed more than a tap on that. But one little tap is enough to do these pieces. Get two logs from each section, so that is good. And planks from each log, I should say. All right, let's finish this bungalow Put in the window. Is that it? Oh, let's get furniture inside. Cute. All right, let's do this one over here. kind of a funny mechanic that you take the tree trunks and cut them into planks and then put them in the ground as round posts again. 
But these simulator games only need to be so realistic before it goes too far. So I like this so far. This is a good mix of realistic, but also just ease of use. Oh, they roll away. Okay, that's good to know. Backlog. My axe still in my Should have just gone ahead and done another tree. I know this isn't going to be enough. Oops. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. I was in it. Okay, one more tree. Oh. That went flying. I gotta plant my little baby trees too. I don't want this to be uh no trees on the beach. Okay. Need a oops. You need a piece. You need a piece. Still need a few more things. I'm gonna try to do this one more tree at a time. Oh, look at the other one. I'm gonna try to do this one more tree at a time. I don't want to end up going too far and having just stacks of this wood laying around. I think I'm... Oh, no, I might have exactly enough. Door. Window. Perfect. Exactly the right amount of wood. Paint the bungalows so that the guests can feel the joy of the island. I can hear the ocean telling me that they are almost here. Okay. Select the painting tool. Oh, pressure washer. Painting. Okay. I mean, it has to be purple, right? I have to. I don't even care that this is going to look most likely ridiculous. I need at least one purple bungalow. All right, so it's keeping me like within the lines of a piece, which is nice. Oops, why did I just spray that? I did see this part in another playthrough, and I have to say I was surprised. I was expecting this to be, especially the way the building is, I was expecting this to be like Microsoft Paint style where you click each piece and it just becomes that color. So this is a good mix of actually taking some effort but still being locked in so you're not over painting. And with the magic of editing, we have two painted bungalows. So I did go super bright colored on the one back there. Pinks and purples and blues. A more muted gray and white color scheme on this one here. I finished cleaning up the last of the trash that was lingering around on the beach. 
and grabbed a few more shells. We're up to nine. So once it painted the bungalow, the next step was to kick in and tell me to rent one. So let's go do that. Oh, okay, 10 shells. I got new furniture. Um, oh yeah, I also oversprayed some paint. So I didn't want this whole floor to be blue, but there's really no easy way that I saw to undo painting. So that's a bit of a bummer that I'm stuck with these like polka dot floors, but oh well, not that big of a deal, but just something to be aware of. Come on. Oh, go to the bungalow door. Yes. You made it. Malu and I are pleased with your work. May the light warm up your new buildings. It's a perfect time to use the goods you got from the island and the ocean. Okay, so lamp strings. I'm gonna do this shape. Okay. Um. Let's do. Wait. What did I do wrong? Okay, select lamp shape. Okay. Uh, well, that went right across the doorway. Oh. Once again, you proved that you could take good care of the island. We thank you. Join us for a celebration. I am going to go with a lighter color on this one. Find the hidden treasure. Where would the hidden treasure be? can I get? Okay, that's the limit on this end. Hmm. Alright, I don't know where that is, but let's go here. Is this the... Oh. Oh, is this going to lead me to the hidden treasure? Do I follow the yellow things? Oh. This is cool. I'm... I'm here. Is this where the hidden treasure is? Oh, this is where the hidden treasure is. Cool. Oh, wow. That was a lot of money. All right. Now, wasn't paying attention to how we get back out of here. There's the path. So that was it. Looks like that's the end of this demo version. It was a great taste. If you like simulation games, I think you're really going to like this one. It's a really good balance of the building mechanic and the decorations and stuff to do around the island. My turtle friend. 
Let's see what the end is. Ah, party! I like that it's doing this overview of my actual cleanup and my actual bungalows. This is cool. I'll definitely be leaving this in my wish list. I can't wait to see what the actual game brings, if there's more buildings or what that's going to look like. Once again, I want to thank my friend Just Trev. You'll find his link in the description. He is the one that hooked me up with this early access to the demo. And of course, to the developer Two Horizons for oh, providing wow. that to him to share nice with me. For yourself on this small island. But are you making any money? What would you say to a big cash boost in your wallet, huh? I'm looking for a place just like it for a golf course. A golf I'm course? To buy this piece of forest from you if you agree to clear it up for me. I propose $200,000. What do you think? So is that a potential option? We could sell it to be a golf course? Not that I would, but it's an interesting concept. All right. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you catch me on the next one. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, everyone.